Well, good morning, everybody. It's good to be actually out in the real world. Um, hope everybody's been looking out for themselves. And I know this taxing year and this uh, stressful moment, but I am so proud of Los Angeles. Let me just start by saying what a year this has been on every level, but what a reminder of the role of sports in our lives. Uh, I want to congratulate the Dodgers last night for one of the best games I've ever witnessed in my life. Um, yeah, we can give it up for the Dodgers. And on top of one of the best, one of the best, I mean, you know, I'm not going to say the best because we've got the best here, but one of the best years too for the Lakers, restoring that glory that Kareem and Magic, that Kobe and Shaq uh, put back. It is an amazing, amazing moment for LA sports and boy, do we need that more than ever. But on this exciting day, you know, as our city takes one more step to support families, I just want to say I know how tough it's been for parents. I'm a parent of a school aged child. I know that stress of becoming a, a teacher and a caretaker, of trying to figure out how to use technology to learn, and how important it is for us to continue to focus on our young people. Uh, they aren't just our future, they are our present. And we have to keep kids engaged. We have to inspire a new generation of leaders in science and technology and innovation. In fact, many of you may not know, but this is Manufacturing Week in Los Angeles. Los Angeles is the manufacturing capital of America. And I just was on a Zoom call with young community college students, college students and recent graduates who all come from communities of color, who themselves now are fixing the planes and building the helicopters and engineering the rocket engines that are putting people into the heavens, into the air, into the air and who are part of the next iteration of what makes Los Angeles such an amazing city of angels. And we want no child to be held back, that her potential needs to be seen, and we need to plant those seeds early on in their lives to show them that they too can become the next Elon Musk, uh, the next Neil Armstrong, uh, the next test pilot, the next great engineer, the next great manufacturer. And so that's why we're here just a little bit north of downtown at this brand new park that we built just a few years ago. Uh, the Downey Recreation Center and the Albion Park is a place where we used to have a dairy. And right here along the Los Angeles River where the trains go by, as you can hear, we are announcing an amazing partnership to team up with Camp Skyhook, taking it from a dream to reality. From many disparate parts to one powerful partnership is an extraordinary feat. And I want to thank the visionaries who have helped us get here today. The Skyhook Foundation and your chairman, the legend Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Austin Butner and Al Cortez, Geraldo Salazar and the entire LAUSD team. Let's give them a round of applause too. Who's here from LAUSD? Anybody here? There you are. Thank you. You're going to be speaking. And Reckon Park's uh, General Manager Mike Schull and Assistant General Manager Vicki Israel, who are with us, who have kept LA's youth and working families at the forefront of our COVID 19 response. I want to thank you. While our schools remain closed, we've had young people since the beginning of this pandemic cared for safely by our Reckon Park staff. And I want to thank every Reckon Park's worker who have shown that we can learn from COVID. We can protect our children, but make sure they don't fall behind. And, you know, I think for all of us who grew up in Los Angeles, or for those who were smart enough to come to Los Angeles, any purple and gold blooded Laker fan can tell you what made Kareem's Skyhook so special. That trademark was unguardable. It was majestic. It was creative. And it was outside the box. Not the normal jump shot or dunk. It was something different, something special, and something that was innovative in the basketball game. No one should be surprised that Los Angeles embraced this tremendous player, one of the pillars of our city, and the activist that he is, the creativity uh, and the voice that he's brought both on and off the court. This is a city that embraces that creativity, that em embraces that innovation, that doesn't ask you where you've come from, only where you want to go to. This is part of our DNA, a place where everybody belongs, a place where everybody can innovate, and a place where literally humanity takes flight. Here in LA, engineers are designing rockets and rovers that will traverse the cosmos. Innovators in every industry are pushing the bounds of human knowledge, finding cures to diseases like COVID-19. And researchers across our city are leading this fight of our lives, overcoming COVID-19 by producing PPE and developing new therapeutics pioneering new technologies for contactless payment and telehealth that helps save lives and protect livelihoods. This is who we are, Los Angeles. This is what we do. 
It's why we are the city of angels. And this spirit to protect each other and our economy, our prosperity and our opportunity is part of our never ending push to make life better for ourselves, but for everyone around the world. But that doesn't happen by accident. It happens with planning, with investments that reach our students, that awaken their passions and transform their futures. And that's what today is all about. Since the start of this public health crisis, the city has played a critical role in helping families meet their needs, whether it's eviction moratoriums on housing, whether it's direct cash assistance to everybody, including immigrants who are written out of some of the federal assistance, whether it's teachers and students who face the obstacle course of new online learning and need to have internet connectivity. We turned our rec and parks facilities into emergency childcare centers in the spring, and we launched Summer Play LA to give kids spaces to play safely, even in the midst of this moment. And at the start of the school year, together with my sister and our city council president, Nuri Martinez, we transformed 60 of our spaces into alternative learning centers, ALCs, where students can get their schoolwork done with the supervision of city staff. It's a great model and it shows that we can take our children seriously and help them. And just last week, we launched a program to connect residents with internet access in four public housing communities, including one just down the street here, to ensure students are fully connected to their classrooms and that internet inequality is a thing of the past in Los Angeles. But today we're celebrating with LAUSD's Beyond the Bell program, which we've been so proud to partner with for so many years, and Camp Skyhook. And I want to thank Deborah Morales as well, um, and everybody who has brought this vision to Los Angeles. This is going to provide STEM programming to students at alternative learning centers through the Eco Van program you see behind us. Using four vehicles that will rotate among these centers, LAUSD's Eco Van staff will bring a world of learning directly to students where they are help them connect to the natural world and the built world. And these vans are created to, sorry, unpacked to create outdoor classrooms and spaces where students receive a multi-dimensional, multi-sensory experience based on the next generation, the science standards and focus on the earth systems. Everybody knows Kareem's voice when it comes to social justice. We all know what incredible athlete he has been. But a lot of people don't know his love of science and the work that he has done to educate me and others about our own history of the scientific innovators who have changed our country and changed our world of all backgrounds. And STEM programs don't just expand our children's opportunities, they also expand their imagination about what's possible for each one of them to achieve in their lives. People tra trained in STEM fields can expect to earn 26% more than their peers in other fields, making them more competitive in the workforce, opening doors of opportunity for their families to be able to prosper. So as we respond to the immediate needs of a health crisis today, we can't just respond and rebuild. We have to fundamentally reimagine. As people hit the streets for racial justice, we have to think about black and brown communities for a grandson of Mexican immigrants, for an African American uh, who has shown us time and time again that our country needs to be a more perfect union. It is programs like this that don't just teach about science. They teach us about equality and equity in a city and a country that still needs so much. And I know that whenever one of these eco vans rolls up to one of these learning centers, it will inspire our young Angelinos to keep learning and keep dreaming and keep thinking, keep shooting for the stars and keep scoring for a more resilient, more equitable and prosperous city.